Hi, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I will share the review about this 20 amps buck converter. While here is the XL4015, which was capable of doing 5 amps max, this 300 watts buck converter can handle 20 amps max. So you can say that it's the father of this XL4015. Father or mother, I am not sure about the gender. So i will show you first of all let's talk about its input voltage its input voltage range is from 6 volt to 40 volt dc max and at the output it will give you 1.2 volts to 38 volts or something else and uh, i already told you about the amps 20 amps max it can handle so let's start wirings are already done i will power it up with my 1400 watts power supply which which i modded to 14 volts and i will also show you by driving some loads that how this buck converter handles the voltage and current much efficiently also it can be used as a battery charger so let's start so it's connected to the power supply now i have no regards for safety don't be like that otherwise it will be your last day on earth Unlike XL4015 buck converter in which we when output short the output terminals it goes into the current setting mode then you can adjust the output current desired which you want but in this module you can't simply short the output terminals because it, it's capable of doing 20 amps so you can't just short the output terminal and set the you always have to first uh, connect the load then you will adjust the output current with the help of this potentiometer. This is the most important point to be noted. So let's set the output voltage. I am going to drive the 4 volt LED at maximum amps at about uh, 14 to 15 or more than that. So I will adjust the output voltage to 4 volts or 3.95. As you can see that it's set on 13.81 so i am going to the anti-clockwise direction the voltage is decreasing in the clockwise it should increase Three point nine one. Three point nine nine. It's okay now. As I already told you, you can't just short the output terminals to set the current. You always have to connect the load first. So I am going to drive this LED. It's ending thirty watts LED which operates on 4 volts and maximum 8 amps but I will overdrive this on more amps like 14 to 15 or more than that so let's first mount it on a copper heatsink to dissipate as much as possible to cool the LED down because more amps mean more heat so all set now LEDs tightly filmed on the heat sink so let's turn on the power supply it's super super bright let's measure the output amps here's the clamp meter dc amps oh man 18.3 amps at 4 volts more than 64 watts of power let's further increase the amperes okay that's the limit Current is not increasing further to increase the current. I have to increase the voltage. 
as you can see that it's now at 20 amps smoke is rising from the led let's turn it off and the heat sink is pretty hot now it's not too hot this heat sink of mosfet is not too hot so let's decrease the current As we have seen that it can easily go to 20 amps. Hats off to this LED which is handling 20 amps while it's only rated for 8 amps max. So you can see that uh, you can say that it's a tiny beast. So now only half ampere is flowing through this LED. So at 15 to 20 amps, you have to add the fan after 5 to 10 minutes because this heat sink would get super, super hot near to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Okay. This converter can also be used as a battery charger. Very efficient. But I will show that in the, an, another video. So if you have any questions regarding this converter you can ask me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for the next video